Hey guys, what's going on? It's Knock. Welcome back to my Portal 2 playthrough. We are just starting off here on... We're starting off here on Chapter 7 and we're going to get some Repulsion Gel loving going on here. If I can remember what I need to do. I think I need to fly across here, right? Yeah, that's what I need to do. Woohoo! Alright, so then we do this. Go back up to here. Replace this portal with that one. We don't need to do this, but we'll just do it anyway. Take the cube back. Feels like more of a tutorial rather than a let's play. I'll be honest, I know it's not a blind playthrough, but um Yeah, damn. Damn, son. Just like speeding through. I'm not even thinking about this, I'm just like doing things and things are working, so Hooray for me. I guess, right? Okay. I guess emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. Now we know that. We just need to relax. Alright, so now we have both gels here. here. So probably we're gonna wanna do Yeah. Do this first. Swap it for blue gel on the end here. And then we can bounce over here, right? Okay. Oh, that's right, and then we bounce out to the other side. I remember. I remember indeed. And then we're gonna go to there. Out here. Let's go, shall we? Woo! Great job, astronaut, war hero, and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna This on. Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him. I swear I know him. Well, Caroline, sorry, Gladys. <laughs> I'm sure you do know him. I love the 70s aperture. It's very, it is very 70s. I think it's one of my favorite aperture logos, actually. If you're All right, what we got here? Additional sixty dollars. Flag down a test associate and let him know. You could walk out of here with a hundred and twenty weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, and then put you back together. Good as new. Okay. I'm sure that's what I need to do there. Then I need blue gel on that one. Because I think where if I remember right, you fly out the top, you put a cube on there to change that. Yeah, that's what we do. I know what I'm doing, man. Also on some blue gel on there. Okay, so now we are ready to go. Uh oh, are we ready to go? Alright, can't fall off there. It's good stuff. Woohoo! I don't I personally I don't understand how that angle works. To me, I don't feel like it should work, but Hey, it does. I'm not going to complain. So then we turn that one. Head over to here. And we're going to come out of there, which hopefully has got blue gel on it. And that should cap all polters across. See, look. I do remember this game. I do remember this game after all. All you got to do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. So, the dialogue of this part of the game, to me, like what Cave's just describing there, is almost like what they did with Carolyn. So, are they like doing some, in, in like the 70s, were they doing like some early like GLaDOS testing? I need to brush up on my history. A bit more, Thank possibly. You. I can't believe I'm thanking these people. 
For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carol and what these people buy. Tattered hats. Weird dirt. Carolyn, 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 why do I know this woman? Did I kill her? Or... Oh my god. Look, you're doing a great job. Can you handle things for yourself for a while? I need to think. She need to think. What on earth could she need to think about? I wonder. All right. Yeah, I don't like this cave. Like, ill cave. Since making test Just participation mandatory for all employees, I don't know. the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Door. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. And the bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mix them into a gel. Guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're going to see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. I might give you lemons. Make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. This that one. Said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. This, I remember this level. Right, this level gave me so much trouble. Because this was before I, like, fully, properly understood how the angles and everything worked. And that you could manipulate the angles of the portals. Of the surfaces, sorry. I mean, it's really simple, if I remember rightly. Because you just need to, like, work your way up to this one here. Like this. Kind of. And I think you also need to get some on this here, because we're going to, like, fling off or through this one. But, um, yeah, I remember this This gave me a lot of trouble when I first played this. I think I was stuck here for quite a while. But I'll not let you do it to me again, game. No, I will not. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Yeah. Make life take the lemons back. Yeah. Get mad. Yeah. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Yeah, take the lemons. Demand to see life's manager. Yeah. Make life rule the day. Thought I could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's going to burn your house down with the lemon. Oh, like I'm going to get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers... Yeah, at this point, they're definitely, out. like, coming to... Artificial intelligence. Yeah. They should have been working on it 30 years ago. I will say this, and I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can... They're definitely there talking about like the GLaDOS and the GLaDOS program, like putting somebody into a computer. Clearly, he is what he said. So, um, yeah, definitely at this point in time, they are thinking about doing that. Let's 
Sounds good to me. Let's explode with some dignity, guys. Alright. Now, if I remember rightly, there's a... There is a puzzle. Very shortly up here, which uses all three gels. Could have probably done that, but we can walk over here. That's fine. So yeah, I think this one through here. Uh, we have to use like a combination of all three gels together. All right, so. Maybe too much. Okay, so that's not right. Speed jump, maybe? Ah, hold on. The bounce shot doesn't reach. What if we did this? Hey, I love it when things work first time. Oh, but we need to see that. So we can change it to that, right? Change it to that. Then change it to that. Now we should be able to go up here. Nope. I do just want to say as well, this is all this this entire playthrough is from memory. I know that if I was watching somebody like play this, um because I'm not really having much trouble. I'd be inclined to say, oh, you know, have you, like, been studying the playthrough or something? But no, I generally have not been, like, re-studying, watching videos of it. This playthrough is purely from memory. What's going on here? Oh, it's in the, it's in the air vent. That's why. That's what's happening. Of course. Makes perfect sense. Uh, this does not. This is really trippy to me. This this tunnel makes no sense to me. It freaks me out, something chronic. It makes no sense. Or I cannot make sense of it, at least. Uh, okay, so where do I go now? Um, there's a thing up there. Do we go up there, maybe? Normally it's like the highest, the higher, you go as high as you can normally. Is there anywhere I can fling across? Oh. Yeah, there. But... See, that's not enough. I'm gonna hold forward this time. me about paradoxes. All I can think about is freaking recursed. If we talk about paradoxes. I, th I swear down I thought there was like a lot more gel things. It's going to start pumping the gel up to the top, right? But yeah, I swear down, there were like a lot more gel levels down here. Oh well. I 
I guess not. Let's go onwards and upwards. Confidence, that's what I like. You sound just like Wheatley actually with that amount of confidence, Chris. I'll be honest. Didn't sound good. So yeah, this is like like the end of like the okay, so it's spheres. Plan to go AI it looks weird. Still, it's, it's got a black trim around it. I don't really know I have a black trim around it. And hey, we're back to the new facility. Huzzah! Fantastic! Q Wheatley Laboratories. Everyone looks good, Frankie Q. And that is going to bring us to the end of this episode. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. We have got two more episodes to go to complete our playthrough of Portal. But until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. Happy gaming.